Hi guys, I'm Sam and welcome to another video from Wildlife Impulse, a channel where we reconnect with the wildlife around us. In this video, I want to talk about wolves, as wolves are returning to Europe. But wolves can be found across the whole northern hemisphere, for a varying in color from like totally black to totally white. But in this video, I want to concentrate on the wolves in Europe. They're a bit bigger than dogs, but there are a lot of different dogs breeds, so some dog breeds really look very similar to wolves. The wolves in Europe are mostly grey brownish and they have like a head to body size of about one meter. They are about 80 centimeters shoulder height. There are a couple of other characteristics that I want to talk to you about when you want to distinguish between a wolf or a dog. When you're out in the field and you see some glimpse of an animal it's not always easy to figure out what it is. So Wolves are like big dogs, and I talked about the size, but they can weigh, or they mostly weigh between 25 and 50 kilograms, whereas big males can weigh up to 80 kilograms. Let's talk about the characteristics. We start with the face. I'll put out some picture here, the face. You can see the face is like, it has lots of different colors and quite some contrast. And one of the, the most important characteristics is they have this black lips surrounded by white fur. Also, when you look at the ears, they're kind of straight up. And the face of a wolf is a bit more of a broader looking. And it also has some, can have some of these uh, hairy cheeks as well. It, overall, the wolf has like a stronger appearance than most dogs. They, they tend to stand stronger. Their, their back is kind of a straight line. Whereas some dogs, or quite, quite often in dogs, you can see... Uh, the back is kind of going down. Also, the back of the wolf is mostly a bit darker, but not as dark as the, the German Shepherds that we know. So it's that they kind of have a little bit of a darker saddle, but not like totally black as with the German Shepherds. Then another very important characteristic to look at is the tail. The tail of wolves is mostly bushy and it's it's always going kind of wearing down without any bend. Uh, so if you see something running with the tail high up in the air, then you can be sure it's it's not a wolf, like it's probably a dog. Also, the tail has mostly like a black, black tip at the end, which is also a very good characteristic. So already a lot of stuff to look at. On the face, you have this uh, black lips surrounded by white fur. Uh, the ears are always up, has a bit of a stronger appearance, tail uh, is always, or most of the time, down without any bend. Uh, they have a shoulder size of like 80 centimeters, length of one meter, so it's, it's fairly big. Alright, if you're already getting value out of this video, please can I get a thumbs up? Then now I will talk a bit about the bigger picture. So, dogs are just mostly accompanied by a human whereas wolves you have lone wolves but wolves are social animals as well so they live in packs across europe it's mostly not like that big of packs so wolves are usually are either live on their own live in a pair or in small packs uh, so if you're lucky you can actually see multiple wolves all together all right this being said i want to end this video with to talk a little bit about how to increase your chances of seeing a wolf. Wolves like to run a lot, so actually to, to increase your chances of seeing a wolf, you just need to find an advantage point where you have like a, a good view um, and you just need to be on the lookout in the mornings or in the evenings and you never know that a wolf might pass by. Um, and obviously don't get too close to the wolf uh, they're still white animals, so they're still unpredictable. So just just keep your distance, have a nice observation, if you get lucky. Another way to increase uh, your chances of seeing a wolf is looking for tracks. And actually I made another video about how to recognize wolf tracks. I'll put it up here and probably in the end screen it's showing up soon as well. So finding the, the tracks is mostly, most often, the first signs to figure out that there are actually wolves or any other species in the area. And 
with with the track you can try and look for places that they use a lot put maybe some trail cameras all right this brings me to the end of my video hope you enjoyed some content about how to recognize a wolf and fingers crossed you might see one one day uh, i'll put up some other videos about wolves here um if you like this video leave a thumbs up that would be great if you have any questions put them down in the comments and if you're looking for more of this kind of content subscribe thumbs up and leave in the comment what you want to see as well um, and i'll see you in my next video